Yo, what is up, man? Happy Labor Day, man. Hope you guys MLB had a good day. I've had a day off, and now I'm ready to grind in this. Not like, not like a day off from like this. A day off from school. Yesterday, man, I grounded, I grinded out three videos a day. I only get to do one, so I get to relax after this. It's been a good day, and I'm ready to get the W against these Rockies as they come in leading the wild card spot and we could end that here in this series if we sweep them and I think it's the Nationals or some I think it's the Nationals who are second in the wild card they could get the home field advantage and the Rockies can drop us Gary Hampson will step in for the first at bat for this first pitch, and he's taking strike one in the bottom corner. Bottom inside corner, all one to Garrett Hampson. Good luck, it's been a while since we've seen the Rockies the end of July. Here we are on September 2nd. Not to lose focus playing the Rockies, so it's been like a month. Two one to Gary Hampson. So, easy to get ahead of yourselves and not take the so you guys tell me down in the comments where the Rockies make the wild card if we sweep them here, if we can. This, this is gonna be a base hit up the middle for Gary Hampson. That ball was pretty slow, but we get a base hit right there. Because that will bring in Daniel Murphy. He has a lot of pop in the bat. And he's fouling that one off. September call-ups will be called up tomorrow, so we might see a fresh pitcher on the mound for the second game. Rest the starters up a little bit, man. I really feel like we've already had we already have home field advantage for the NL West. We know for the NL. The playoffs plus the World Series, so maybe we could give some rest to our main starters as this is going to hit the left, the uh, hit to left field, and Peterson is going to make a play out there. The sun is bright, and the shade is going to be a problem behind home plate, so. And a chance now to check out the visiting Colorado we'll see how it does, how it affects us in this game as the Dunks are still with Garrett Hampson right now. Taking ball one low from Charlie Black. One up count to Black. Hampson really leading over there. First throw over safe. Feels good to be home back in LA, man. It feels like it's been like a while since we've been here. One two count. So Charlie Blackman, Hampson's leading, and now 2-2. Two two. Dave Roberts watching Julio try and grind this game out and trying to work a lot of innings as that's the first strike out of the game. And it comes off for Charlie Blackman with a fastball. Now they'll bring in Nolan Arenado, leads the Rockies with 37 home runs. Got to be very careful that Arenado is taking this deep and many times this year, and now he's going to roll the first one. To Justin Turner and Turner's gonna throw it over to Bell and the end the inning as Aaron Hampson leads the the inning off with a solid single and nothing after that. Tyler Anderson, he has had good games and bad games against us this year. 3.67 ERA. The best game he had against us was like the second week of the season when it was the first time we saw him in Coors Field. And I mean, this dude freaking killed it as he throws strike one to Chris Taylor. Two for 23. Lifetime Taylor is against Anderson. Hopefully we have a better start against Anderson than we have had in the past as it's 1-1 to Chris Taylor. One-one count to Chris Taylor. Whether it's them or someone else has to come up with a big knock. Hit in the center, and an easy, easy play for Ian Desmond. One down. Time now to check out how the hometown Taylor flies out. And now they'll bring in Corey Seager, who gets a start. That's worth the price of admission. Andrew McCutcheon. He's really had a heck of a year in the power categories. And here comes Corey Seager hitting 250. That means almost every time he's hitting the ball, he's hitting it hard. First one to Corey Seager. 
will be Swanga first, first and Daniel Murphy. Murphy. Easy play. He'll take it on to the bag himself. Two gone now. Here Two in the easy outs for Tyler Anderson. Now they'll bring in the so leader for the, the Dodgers in home runs, runs, Cody Bellinger, who has 32. Head to head numbers against Tyler Anderson. He comes in as a 316 hitter. First Two one of those from Anderson to Bellinger. Runs. Dribbler to third, side. Anderson has done have to make a nice play, Bellinger won't beat it out, and it's a five-pitch inning for Tyler Anderson to start and his game. As here comes Trevor Story, has 30 home runs, home run and uh, he afternoon. can hit bombs too, so we got to be very careful to him, as Second first one to him is ball one low. One so up. not a good inning, not a good bottom of this first for us in the hitting category, because Five and pitches, that ain't that much, man. Like, we've had the way better starts against Tyler Anderson, and this might be one of those games where Tyler Anderson does his thing. As right this center. is going to be a base hit down, for uh, Trevor hit. Story, as we don't throw that one back in. Boy, so and now they have a runner on at first. On right and here comes right David Dahl. He has really plenty of pop in that bat. First one to Dahl will be ball one away. So another ball to start off another like batter 1-1 one, one, there we go 1-1 one, one count one, to one. David Dahl in the change 2-1 2-1 one. count to David Dahl hit the first Bellinger, Bellinger to Seeger back to Bellinger for a double play. double play Bellinger's been having really good games at first lately that's where he's been making nice plays play and that's another right nice play for Cody Bellinger as Ian Desmond steps in the no 20 I mean with 19 home runs on the season first one to Desmond oh, is gonna be hit yeah, is driving in the center, center. and Chris goes. Taylor will have and enough room nice catch on the track that one that got me a little end. worried Oof. and that will bring in Justin Turner, Turner. He's looking to extend the shadows the and everything's kind of fading away Five pitches for Anderson in the first inning, trying to make him work here with the first one. Changes Ball one low. That's in the dirt for Change up in the dirt. <coughs> one no count to Justin Turner. Strike one with the fastball in the outside corner. Great, great pitch right there from Tyler Anderson, making Justin Turner reach for that one. One one to Turner. Hit and fouled off. Down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul. One two count to Justin Turner with no outs. Eight pitches for Anderson. And, and he'll strike out Justin strike Turner. Ionetta throw the gathers. first, the throw easy first out, in time, and down. a four pitch at bat for Tyler Anderson right there, good. trying to make him work a little bit. Now. And I'm gonna bring Jack in Jock Peterson, who also has 32 home runs. So both him and Bellinger lead the Dodgers in home runs. Maybe one of them will change that here tonight. First one to Jock Peterson from Anderson. It's gonna be hit, and that's gonna be a base hit for Peterson. So a single for the Dodgers to finally get, well, a single for the team to finally get on the hit column. And now that will bring in Andrew McCutcheon and gets 285. They're over and safe at first is Peterson. Good speed, so anything into the gap might get Jock home or even to third. But home is where the scoring is, so that's where Jock's target is. First one to Andrew McCutcheon. Hit up the, up the middle, middle and is going to get through Hampson and Jock on the way to third and he's going to get there easily. So a single for Andrew McCutcheon gets Peterson all the way to third and now they'll bring in Kike Hernandez. This is his 81st game of the year. So eight, this is his 81st game. 20 more to 100 but I'm pretty sure he won't get those first one to... Hernandez will be fouled off. Down the right side. You never know. Hernandez and Muncy might get more playing time with the September call-ups. Yes, I want to like build Bellinger's stats and I want to build Turner's and I want to build like everyone's stats. But man, we got call-ups coming. Hernandez does not get a lot of playing time. So maybe just you know let them ride out September, as it's 0-2 to Kike Hernandez and Tyler Anderson with the 0-2 pitch. Fouled off right there from Anderson, staying alive.
O2 count to TK. We'll throw over the first. Touching ain't moving. O2 to Kike Hernandez. Here's the 0 and 2. It should be 1 Take 2. Swing yes. There. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball 1 2 one. count to Hernandez. Bottom of the second here with no score. And Throw over. And 10 first. pitches so and far for uh, Tyler Anderson in this inning, making them work. Fifth pitch to Hernandez. Will be fouled off. As it's 1 2. Here's another 1 2. One, two pitch to Hernandez, and now on and a pop up. That will bring in Peterson. Dolls throw. He Peterson on the, the move, catch, and Peterson's going to easily be safe. 1 0 Dodgers. And the run so Kika the gets the job done with bringing in a run. And now they'll bring the hot hitting Wilson to Trevor's and hitting 215. On the season, yet to hit his first Dodger home run, waiting for that man. First one to Wilson Contreras will be strike one. I'm hoping he hits a home run this week or something. Every start he has, man, I want him to hit a bomb in a Dodger uniform. One, one, one. One ball and one strike. One one to Wilson Contreras, and that one's well, going to be fouled on off. Swing, and now he'll Very late swing. Up maybe and protect the plate. One two count to Wilson Contreras. And I have and I swing there as they time strike out Contreras the right there. Just really bad at reading Welcome those back to pitches. Dodger Stadium, where these fans have witnessed a lot of good pitching and from their boys in blue this season. At the start of the day's action, they come in having issued the fewest walks in the league while carrying around the best overall ERA as well. Talking with one coach earlier, he told me how much pride their pitchers take in attacking the zone. He said they all have dynamic stuff and they have a lot of confidence that if they're just throwing a lot of strikes, the velocity, movement, and deception of their pitches will take care of the rest. Guys, it's a staff that will come right after you, but they don't think you can hit it either. Man, we are still the worst team in the major leagues and in the NL with strikeouts. That's okay though. We've we don't need strikeouts to win. We've obviously shown that, but I'd like to be like somewhere good in strikeouts. Like, come on, 0 one count to Tyler Anderson. Strike two. And now, hopefully, we get a strike three here. 0 two pitch. Here comes the curve. Strike three. Second K for Julio Arias. Julio trying to get his 19th win to match Rich Hill. And now they'll bring in Gary Hansen. Had a single in his last A.B. It was a slow roller what got just through the hole. Here comes another single. He won't go to second because McCutcheon's out there on time and makes a nice throw to second base. So two for two, Gary Hampson, and here comes Daniel Murphy. First one to Murphy. Ball one inside. One more count to Daniel Murphy. Now strike one. One one count to Murphy. Ball gets away and now Gary Hampson. We'll be able to tag. Well Standing up there, man. Here with two away. And now it's a 2-1 count with a runner on at second. And anything could on the ground, score the him in, line. but Bellinger's, Bellinger's keeping that ball fair and alive. So, the inning is over. so that the inning is over because Stepping of Bellinger. Now, now that'll bring in Julio Reyes. First pitch on its way. First one from Anderson to Julio. Strike one. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Julio does not have a good history of swinging the bat, man. It's been rough. But that's okay. On one count to Julio Arias. One one. Now a fastball oh, off the plate away. <coughs> one one to Arias. One one count to Julio Arias. Dodgers one, one two. trying to deal with a one and two count, count at the plate. Two. Nice hack though right there. <clears throat> Good to see Julio swinging the bat. One two pitch. 
swing and a miss as he mount on the, the chain the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away and now that'll bring in Chris Taylor Digging who's over one who flew out in his last bad bat fly out for him to start the home first <coughs> first one to Chris Taylor ball one high away on the first pitch fastball there it's ball one One no count to Chris Taylor. Hit in the right field. This ball's carrying Blackman on the move, and Blackman's gonna run out of room. And a home run, 27th home run for Chris Taylor. Man, I didn't think that ball was gone, but the day the ball just carries here at Dodger Stadium, and that's his 27th home run on the year. That ball just kept on going, man. And then that'll bring in Corey Seager. I'll take it, man. I'll take the run. First on the Corey Seager. Bounding it off. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. One count to Corey Seager. Ball one inside. He misses with a changeup. Seeger is among one of the elite hitters in today's game in terms of facing off against left-handed pitching. And even more impressively, he is, of course, left-handed himself. Anderson. Really a rare talent. Bowed you just off. don't grow up facing many left-handed pitchers until you get into minor league ball. So for this guy to absolutely hammer left-on-left -left situation one, is a two, testament to Corey the hard work he's put in the cage. And, and it's going to be popped up, up in an easy right play for Murphy. Murphy is under it. And now they'll bring in Cody Bellinger, who's out for one. And that brings in the former National League Rookie of the Year, Cody Bellinger. First one to Cody Bellinger. And a good one away. Great hold up right there from Cody. One no count to Cody Bellinger. One one. I was expecting something hard right there, not the change. And Tyler Anderson going back with the change to kind of mix me up a little bit. 1-1 one, one count to Cody Bellinger. And now the fastball, and that's going to be through over there at first for a base hit for Cody Bellinger. Sometimes you need a little luck. Sometimes you need to get a ground ball with eyes. And that's exactly what happened. Or maybe that was the change. I don't know, but that was the cutter. So I get a base hit on the cutter right there, and now bring in Justin Turner with two outs for Justin pitch. Turner. Strike one with As the two seam. Catch up on a fastball at the letters, and it's strike one. I was trying to make that baby go for a ride. Good swing, just missed it with the barrel. Oh, one count, and Bellinger's, Bellinger's off, and off and running. And Iannetta's gonna throw out Cody Bellinger. He'll be tagged out at second base. Pretty good throw right there from Chris Iannetta. And now they'll bring Stepping in Charlie in Blackman, who's over for one with the strikeout. Blackman, first time up, he went Blackman. down looking. Yeah, in today's game, certainly it, don't and get that will be foul. Jock tried to give it a look, but, but no one likes not to make a full attempt on that one. Oh, to one to Charlie Blackman. It's a right field and an easy routine play for Andrew McCutcheon. Is made out there by McCutcheon and that's the first out. <clears throat> so that's one out, and now they'll bring in Nolan Arenado. Digging in to try it again. Rounded out to third in his last AB. Hopefully we're able to do the same thing here as that strike one inside. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Oh, one count to Arenado, and now it's one one on the corner right there. And that one called a ball. One one to Nolan Arenado. One two. He tried to extend to hit that slider, probably down the right field line, but. Not working out. One two pitch with the curve. In Got him to strike out. And Wilson's just going to throw that over to first for the second out. Strike him out, throw him out at first. That's what you have to call that, right? Strike him out, throw him out like at first base. Not strike him out, throw him out like when they're trying to steal. Like, what would you call that? The strikeout plus the throw over to first? Because it was like a wild pitch strikeout? I don't know. He ain't looking for a single. If you're like one of those baseball gods who, who are like six, four, like they know like the rules are like 
the holes of baseball or whatever and like you know what the players are like you guys should tell me down in the comments or something what you think that uh strike out throw him out over the first is and he fouls this one off one two count to trevor story fouled off Trevor Story is really good at hitting that low stuff. We're gonna throw a high fastball. See if we strike him out here. One, two, pitch high. He's Got him. There, strike three. Another strikeout for Julio Rios. Three up. And now they'll bring in Turner Stepping back in. in. Justin Turner he set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. The one of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the First pressure one on. They're just Turner from the as much as they can moving into the later innings. And, and foul. To get oh, Arnado's gonna miss it, and untouched. now it's a one. The wind up and the 0-1. No one count to Justin Turner. Fouled oh, away. two. Turner, a California-born ball player, he was selected in the seventh round during the first-year player draft of 2006. What an oh, absolute two. steal. To Justin I mean, Turner. He's, this guy has gotten a lot of one, people. Two with the two in the organization. To be drafted as low as he was and turned himself into one of the biggest superstars in our sport. I am very impressed with what this guy's been one, able two to do. Two to Justin now. Turner. Foul ball cut away inside. <sighs> two, two. I mean, one, two to Turner. Lifted into, yeah, the, in the center, center and that's field. gonna drop for a base in hit. There, a base hit. So the Dodgers get their leadoff hitter on we'll base take him, man. Dan, I'll bring in Jock Pearson, who's one for one with the single. First one to Peterson. Fouled hey, off. Missed one right there. Nine games is nothing to sneeze at, but he'd love to get it to 10. A one to Jack. Here comes the 0 1. 1 1 and it gets away from my net and turns up Nancy. Forget about the double play now. And the now that's a wild pitch. Runner at second. Anything into the gap gets Turner home. 1 1. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Get into center, center field, field hard. Turner tagging. Desmond's throw is not on time. And now they'll bring in Andrew McCutcheon with a runner at third. Andrew, Anderson's first one is going to be way inside. And almost hits Andrew McCutcheon's freaking knee. And now it's 1 0. 1 0 count to Andrew McCutcheon, and now he's going to bring in the run. Only better throw it, which he does on time, but that's an RBI ground out for uh, McCutcheon after Tyler Anderson almost hits his knee, which would have been a bad thing because, like, come on, that, that probably works really bad. So here comes the first one to Hernandez. Fouled off. The wind up and the 0 1. 0 1 count. To Tyler, I mean to Kike Hernandez, excuse me, and that's high. 1 1. 1 1 to Hernandez. And he gets it's low and the right side of the infield. Murphy, Murphy with the play. <coughs> Jam back to Dodger Stadium. Let's send it down to the field in Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Rockies skipper Bud Black between innings, specifically about his club's offensive output to this point. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been screening at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. So that change up some deep. Hit up the middle for a base hit for David Dahl. Tried to double up on the change. Got a piece of contact right there. 1 0. Stay in this 1 0 count. And now hit this one. Hit into the gap, and David Dahl is on the move. 
And this will get all the way to the wall now. Taylor's throw, and David Dahl is going to be scoring on an RBI double from Ian Desmond. Now it's 3 1 Dodgers. And now they'll bring in Chris Ionetta. First on Ionetta. Strike one. So Ian Desmond gets the Rockies on the board with an RBI double. Let's see what Ian Desmond can do. Very high curveball right there from Julio. 1-1 one, one pitch to I mean to Chris Ionetta. 2-1 two, one count, top of the fifth, no outs, runner on second. And this is going to be hit to right field. Andrew McCutcheon makes the play, and I'm surprised Ian, De Ian Desmond did not tag up on that. And now they'll bring in Tyler Anderson first under him. It'll be ball one low. <coughs> Just a fastball right down the middle. He's going to be fouled off. Left. He gets Julio and to be in the count right there. 1-1 one, one to Tyler Anderson. One, one. Here's a little chopper Roller, up the Hernandez, up the throw to first in time. Darren Hansen's coming up with a runner in scoring position. And he's two for two with two singles. First one to Hampson. 95 speed, got a good speed, but he's had a good bat so far in this game. A one count. Slider. 1-1. One, one. Great take from Hampson. 1-1 one, one count the curve. Up the middle for a base hit, and now bringing another run for the Rockies. Gary Hampson, three for three, now with an RBI single. Outside of taking a ball and now that'll bring in Danny Murphy, favorite. and we'll go talk to Julio. All right, Julio, we got this first one to Daniel team, Murphy. Ball one high. So 1-0 oh count to Daniel Murphy. The steal, who Contreras is throw on time. On time, Wilson Contreras. That's why we traded for Wilson Contreras. We did not trade for the bat. We traded for the arm for speedsters like Garrett Hampson. First one to Wilson Contreras. You could tell he was late on that one. Strike one with the change. If he tries to cheat to Man, I really want to hit a home run with Wilson Contreras, and what perfect time would it be right now? The Rockies just scored two Ball runs. We're up one. by Here one. Come. Like, come on, Contreras, add on to the lead. 0-1. Oh, 0-2. Oh, easily to Wilson Contreras. September call-ups are tomorrow. That means AAA. Their, their season's slowing down, and I don't want Wilson Con Contreras to be down there with out all the good uh, AAA players as you know, like I said, he's he's been hot lately, but he's struggling right here today against Tyler Anderson. But I do got to, you know, I got to take a break. Think like, man, half the team really struggles against Anderson. And now Wilson Contreras is one of them. One, two. <clears throat> one, two count to Wilson Contreras. 53 pitches for Anderson. 2-2, two, two, great take right there. Contreras great is working himself back, back into this AB. Commit. The body was out in front on a great change up right there, but he was able and strong enough two, to keep two. his hands back. Hit into right, 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 right field. Blackman. Blackman on the move and Blackman he will have room. And now they'll back. bring in Julio Arias. Standing in. Julio Arias. He's 0 for 1 oh, thus far. First one to Julio. Showing bunt here, but one out, pulled back one. the bunt, making sure we get a ball. One Two one. Oh now. Can't allow yourself to lose focus right here with the pitcher up. Got to stay on the attack. Minimize pitches against these guys and put them away early. Three runs, five hits, no errors for the Dodgers thus far. 2-0 to Julio. Sent on Base the hit, out nope. The second. Yeah, Hampson, easy play. Murphy's in time, and there are two gone now. So it's back to the top of the order now. And in to hit next, it'll be the ever-versatile Chris Taylor. 
And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around to All right, and now they'll bring so in. I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter, so I might want to move that Here ball up Chris and down. Here comes Chris Taylor. And in and out and hit a home run in his last right A.B. One ball, no strikes to count. With two outs, they're not playing him to bun here, and he didn't show it there, but I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't at least thinking about it. He handles the bat pretty well, and he can definitely run. 1-0, one, one, oh, oh. Did he ball. go around? No, no, he did not. Ball two. He would have had to go with the old-school Tommy Hawk approach on that one if he wanted to get on top, but he was able to lay off it. 2-0 count to Chris Taylor. 3-0 three three oh. now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. 3-0 three oh count. Hit the other Hit the right field, right and field. an easy play Black for Black is under it, And that ends the inning. I feel like I just missed an opportunity right there to maybe take a couple pitches. Leading off I don't the know. inning, Daniel Murphy, and they'll need him to get something. First on to Murphy. High in the Hit into center field, field, and Chris Taylor will have room. Taylor is right there, and it's a very quick out number one. The right field. Here's Charlie Blackman now. Charlie Blackman. And here comes Charlie Blackman. First pitch of the at bat. And that's, and that's gonna hit Julio. Right Julio's gonna regroup, throw the ball to first, not on time. A good effort to recover there, and he almost made the play, but that's a base hit. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But and now Julio is telling everyone he's okay, but now no one's coming up. First one to Nolan. Strike one right down the middle with the fastball. Scary moment right here, man. Nolan can untie, I mean, can give the Rockies the lead, and he's going to give him a base hit. So now the Dodgers' bullpen will be starting to like, hurry up and warm up a little bit. Uh, here comes Trevor's story. Dave no Dolly and Desmond. So Ross Stripling and Chapman are warming in the bullpen. Another inning brewing right here. Let's see if they can't get a big hit here right here and bust through in this one. Here we go. Trevor Story first pitch. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Strike one with the fastball. Struck out in his last A B. Oh, one count to Trevor Story. Now one one with the slide from the dirt. They haven't been able to come through so far, but now would be the time to come through. And now 1-2. Great pitch from Julio right there on the curve. 1-2 count. The slider high in the middle. And it's going to go to McCutcheon. And McCutcheon is going to get the second out. And now that will bring in David Dahl. <laughs> lefty versus lefty. This is where we need Julio to do his thing. First on to Dahl. Ball one away. Second with a base hit into the outfield. The curve ball, ball slipped from his hands. 1 0 count, and now 1 There's 1 with the curve. Gets the bottom of the zone. Slider, slider Blackman away to David Dahl, and now hit over to Turner, going the easy to and second, and that's gonna end the, the inning. The inning 70 over. pitches for Julio Left through for six Colorado. innings. That will end his night, unfortunately. Standing Tyler, in, I really feel like he should have had a better one game, one but at the end of the day. He uh, gave up two runs. He got through six. And that will end his night because I know our bullpen is pretty strong. Is this is going to be a Gary Hampson play, but he's going to drop the ball. And Seeger's going to reach safely at first. So that should be an error on Gary Hampson, but the score decision is a base hit. The ball must have been hit too hard. To me, I feel like that's an error. I really do as here comes see I mean here comes Bellinger is one for two with a single and now swinging at the first pitch high. And that Colorado bullpen comes to life now with the Rockies bullpen warming up just like the Dodgers. Oh Wanda. Bellinger now a two with the chain. Oh two count to Cody Bellinger with Seager at first. This is Rolled it over. Daniel Murphy to second. There. Bellinger oh, safe at first. Not in time as he beats it out. That throw pull, pulled a 
Tyler Anderson off the bag, but still, I'm pretty sure Bellinger would have been safe as that's one away. And here comes Justin Turner, who's had a couple deep fly balls and has had a couple good swings and misses home runs just like I missed one right there once again. 0-1 to Justin Turner. There goes Bellinger from... This one's crushed. Is this one going to stay fair? The ball on the move, and that's gone. Justin Turner with a two-run home run to give us insurance, man. Finally, I get one with Justin Turner. I feel like I've missed so many. Here comes Chris Russin, 2.15-year uh, A, 75.1 in his pitch. And I'll take it, man. Let's go. Justin Turner with a two-run home run they give us a better lead and jock peterson's gonna line this one in the center for a base hit and the dodgers offense is clicking now and now i'll bring in andrew mccutcheon who had an rbi single earlier good speed over there at first first one from russin strike one to mccutcheon russin to mccutcheon making rhymes kind of <laughs> 0-1 to Andrew, though. Hit the right field, and this is going to drop. And Jock Peterson's on the way to third, and he's going to roll into there easily. Now they'll bring in Wilson Contreras with runners at first and third. Actually, it's going to bring in Kika Hernandez. Pardon me. Throw over to first, and Andrew McCutcheon. I'm trying to do a double steal here. If I can get McCutcheon to go... And they throw down. Hopefully, I can get Jock to go. Let's see if I can steal home for the first time this season. Oh, they threw home. And they... Ah, that is not what I wanted. That is not what I wanted. I messed up. I wanted... Uh, I needed Russin... Uh, darn it. I needed Russin to throw to... Them. Ionetta and Ionetta throw down Into to second, now. and I was going to try and run home. But now it's 0-1 to Kike missed. Hernandez with two outs and McCutcheon has second. Darn, I just missed an awesome opportunity, I feel, to try and have a nice, well, try and have a stolen base at home. Like, missed it. But at the end of the day, we're winning. That's all that matters, and I got to be thinking about Ross Stripling when he comes out to pitch. There goes McCutcheon to third, and that's going to be ball two. Stolen base for Andrew McCutcheon, seventh one on the year. He's not, has not stolen a lot of bases, but when he does, he usually gets to the bags. 2-1, and now strike two. <clears throat> I'm trying to steal home. Screw it. I want to steal home. That would be so badass. Here we go. Go home. Darn it. 3-2. Count. To I don't know. I was just trying to mess around right there. And I want to steal home. Like, it don't look like it's happening. And here comes Ross Stripling. 78.2 innings on the year. And now he'll see Desmond to lead off the top of the seventh. First one to Desmond. Hit the right field. And that's going to be a single for Ian Desmond. Desmond. <laughs> Hey, excellent job right there. And now that will bring in we gotta keep this uh, line moving. Chris Ionetta. Double play ball. Two Bellinger to Seeger. And now back to Bellinger for the double play. And now that will bring in Ramiel Tapia. First one to Tapia. Swinging and strike one. The average right at the 200 mark on the year. Oh, one count the Rafael Tapia. Now, oh, two. Boy, they're really giving him fits Not the greatest pitch, but Tapia swung. And now it's oh, two, two hit over the first in Bellinger. But end the inning. Here comes Jeff Hoffman, 6.06 ERA. Now at the plate, Kike Hernandez. First pitch of the at bat. First one from Hoffman to Hernandez, ball one high. Ball one, no strike. <clears throat> 1-0 to Hernandez. 
2-0. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 now. Now with the 2-0 count and the power at the plate, it could be Five fireworks. 5-2, to bottom time. of the seventh. This is the kind of count he makes count to Hernandez, and now 3-0. Wilson and Charis is on deck. Well, that's ball three. The Dodgers right now would love to start this inning off. With we a have count anyway, to Hernandez and now on. ball four. Four pitch four. walk to Hernandez and now they'll bring in Wilson and Charis who's 0 for 2. So with a strikeout and a fly out. Stepping up to hit next, the catcher Wilson Contreras. First one to Wilson Contreras out of the stretch will be strike one with the chain. Nice job by the pitcher right there to establish himself back <coughs> oh, into one the count strike zone. Wilson Contreras. I'd like to have seen the hitter been a little bit more aggressive one, one. in that situation. One one. Usually when a pitcher throws four balls in a row, that next pitch you could get super greedy right down the middle. One one count to Wilson Contreras. One two, great change up from Jeff Hoffman. Right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much. Being very, very patient at the play with Wilson Contreras. It might not be good right here for us now. One two. Two two. two. To the Dodgers catcher. I don't know. Maybe it will work. I am kind of curious how this at bat will end for Wilson Contreras. Two two. Lead over and Hernandez is gonna get back to first. Two two count to Wilson Contreras gets and away from Ionetta and now it's three two. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Hernandez. And that stripling spot on is on deck. Out. Three two count to Wilson Contreras. Foul ball staying alive right there. Would have been ball four if I took it, but looked pretty hittable for a slight second, and I swung and luckily got to foul that one off. Three two. Should be ball four, yes. A walk for Wilson Contreras, a great at bat right there. And now they'll bring in, let's go with Max Muncy. Getting a pitch hit opportunity. Bullpen, we're gonna go with Aroldis Chapman to pitch the eighth. First one to Muncy. Hit to left field and it's not enough room and everyone get back. And now they'll bring in Chris Taylor, who's, who's, who's one for three. Hit a home run in the second at back of the game. First one to Chris Taylor will be grounded into a double play one and two. And now we'll end the inning for the Dodgers. I thought we could maybe score off of Hoffman, just missed those opportunities. And now here comes our oldest Chapman. <clears throat> and that will bring in Gary Hampson. Three for three with three singles. And now we finally get him out. Three for four night for Gary Hampson. He still, he really has had a great game. A one. And now, I mean, no, now a one. Excuse me. I meant to say one out. A one, and now up the middle, Seager got the range in the arm, and we'll throw out Daniel Murphy. That's the best thing about Seager, man. His, like I've said before, I'll say it again, his bat has been super quiet this season. It hasn't been that good, but that range that short is unbelievable. I love it, and that's why I made Crawford the second baseman, because he has range too, and like, it was to make Seager go to Seager go to second or Chapman to, or I mean, Seager go to second or Crawford go to second. I really like Crawford and Seager how they are, where Seager's as short, Crawford is at, um, <coughs> Crawford's at second as we're going to warm up uh, Kenley in the bullpen, but I really love how you know, our second baseman and shortstop got a lot of range, and that's going to be a base hit. Maybe that's going to be a single for Corey Seager. Seager showing off the bat. Man, the last couple of base hits Seager has gotten, they've been poked down the third base line like that every time. There's Bellinger, one for three. With the single. And now found the first one off. Oh, one count to Cody Bellinger. The 0-1 delivery. 
One one great take right there. Forty nine thousand seven hundred fifty two people came out for this Monday Labor Day game. One one throw over the first safe. And the runner will get back standing. One one count to Cody Bellinger. One one count. Two one. Two one count to Cody Bellinger. The two one. Three one away. Justin Turner on deck. Who hit a home run in his last AB. 3-1 count to Bellinger. Popping it up. I really wanted to freaking hit a dinger. Because no one will be able to make the play. I think that was a strike anyway. Yeah, it was. It would have been called a strike. Just jammed me. Here comes Turner who has the home run. Like one with the slider. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit two for this two. And mix in some off -speed pitches. Uh, Justin Turner is a three for three. It's it or two for three. One of them. I don't know what it is. Right over the top with it's two for three. Ball, I'm it's pretty sure. We're in the eighth inning now. Of a he has a single two and a two-run home run. I can see it out on the scoreboard, but I can't tell. It says two for three. But this is going to be a base hit, so it don't matter. And Corey Seager just going to move station to station. Dan, right here you see a situation where no doubles no deep. Justin Turner has been killing the Rockies in game one of this series. I love it. And now that'll bring in Jock Peterson. First one to Jock will be high for ball one. I was concerned about getting the guy out swinging the bat. He's two for three and looking for more here. Two for three night so a far for no Peterson. 1-0 count and now 1-1 one, one with the slider. The zone for a strike. First and second now, one man out. 1-1 one, one to Jack Peterson. Curve ball fouled off. 1-2 count to Peterson, runners on first and second. The 1-2. Up the right middle, no story. What a play. What a play from Hampson and Story. Oh, yes, I want to. And here comes Kenley Jansen getting ready for a save. First on the Nolan. Strike one for the cutter. Oh, one count to Nolan Arenado. Right. Oh, two. In the hole. Oh, and two. two cutters in back-to-back. Oh, two, back to back. Oh, two. slider it's fouled off high. It's a mistake foul, so thank God. Oh, two to Nolan in the, the fastball is gone. Five to three. Nolan Arenado with his 38th home run on the year. Threw a fastball right there, and Nolan took advantage. And now they'll bring in uh, Trevor Story. I hope in the postseason, Kenley don't have a, like a three-point-something ERA because that's kind of terrible. I really feel like he should be better. I need to like add a fourth pitch as this one's cranked the right field, but it's foul. It's foul. 0-2, slider away from Trevor and taking ball one. One and two. <coughs> we are done a warm up. Um, to get their offense going. They need Dallas Keiko in the bullpen. We'll spark one here. He has two here saves. He on one, two, two, and now two, no, two. Got the inside, but rule the ball. <coughs> but Jansen came tired into this game, man, and I feel like he's been saving like a lot of games lately. As that's strike one. Well, that's out one, out number one, and that's a strikeout. I'll bring in David Dahl. First on the doll with the cutter. Hit. This might drop. Peterson on the move, and Peterson will make it. Two outs for Kenley before we get another W. Now they'll bring in Ian Desmond. First one to Desmond. Strike one with the foul. Kenley tomorrow for sure will get a day off. I feel like I've been pitching him a lot, and this one's going to be hit to center, and... Kenley Jansen gets the save. Yes, gives up a run and 
But it don't matter. Julio gets another win. We get another win. Jansen gets another save. Yes, it wasn't the best game, but we, we uh, end the game. So, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Three for four is, was Justin Turner. He killed it. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode with uh, Kershaw on the mound. We'll see you guys.